All right, everyone. So for our very first lecture here, okay, this class is going to be very results-oriented in that you're going to need to create things on a regular basis. Just about every week or every other week, you have a, a big assignment to work on. And like I said, there's not a lot of assignments to work on, so you want to make sure you, you do well on them. The very first big assignment is going to be a model sheet. Now, a model sheet is a representation of your character. And like I said, you're going to think of a character that you're going to use throughout the whole class. You're going to... Problem here? Uh, not if that one doesn't work, there's another one to the left that might work. So uh, you're going to develop a character that you're going to use throughout the whole class. The first assignment is going to be a model sheet. You're going to show me the character. You're going to show me its uh, various poses and colors and such. Then the next one after that is you're going to make a little movie with your character. The third one after that is going to be a game. Your character will star in a game. And the fourth one is another game starring your character. So before we get to drawing anything, I'm going to show you some examples here of model sheets. You may have seen these before, but you might not have had the, uh, the knowledge of what exactly that was. So I'm going to show you here. Uh, we've got these different ones. Turnaround, expression, pose, color, description, comparison. So a turnaround type of model sheet is a drawing of your characters in different angles. So I'm just going to load up a few of these examples here. I'm going to show you a lot of examples as the class goes on so that you can see what other people have done before you and what you can do better. Every time I teach this class, you know, the, the, the material changes a little bit. The students uh, come in with different ideas and create a lot of very cool things. I, I, I like teaching this class because I see a lot of creativity in people. So you see what this kind of model sheet is. There's a character, let's say him, and there's a front-on pose, a profile pose, a three-quarter view pose. Okay, straight ahead, sideways, turned, three-quarters, right? Straight on, profile, three-quarters, a little bit of a turn. And I'm just showing here a variety of different examples from like, you know, very simple character to a more complex character. Uh, very well-defined character. Here's four turns, straight ahead, uh, three-quarter facing front, profile back. So one of the first assignments is going to be one of these. You're going to create a model sheet uh, for a character and do a turnaround model sheet. So uh, here's a few examples and it's going to be in three parts. Now the details are on canvas and we'll look at that in a moment. But you're going to be required to create one turnaround model sheet. That's the required one. And then two of any of these other kinds. For example, expressions. So this one is going to be the example of a variety of characters with different expressions. Happy, sad, duplicitous, embarrassed, whatever. A variety of expressions. Now you'll you'll be able to even for like a totally simple character like this one still do expressions. I had someone in the last time I taught this that their character was like a little circular ghost like Voltorb and they were still able to do expressions. Question? Uh, are you allowed to draw it like that or do you have to use a tablet? Uh, you can do it on paper, sure. We've got the tablets, and we've got Adobe Animate, and if you're a lot better on regular paper, sure, although, you know, doing it on, a, 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 on our tablet and such is a little bit more of the goal, but you can pick. Uh, yeah. Are there scanners? Uh, no. I'm looking around. I don't see scanners. One way that we could do it, though, is we could perhaps take a photo of a real drawing you've made, thank you, and then uh, import it, yeah, import it and email it. So we can figure that out, yeah. <coughs> so let's see what else here. So this is another one, expressions. Now, um, all these expressions, for example, in this character, I think they look really cool, really interesting, they look real. And you might say, well, I, I don't know how to do that. Um, uh, what's a secret technique to be able to draw good expressions. Anyone have a guess? 
Look in a mirror, exactly. You look in a mirror, you make an expression, and draw what you see. It may not be perfect, but it's going to go toward creating something like this. Like, I could see, if I was drawing myself, I could make that kind of uh, expression. And this one's a little bit more cartoony, but that's, you know, a confused or... I don't know, they got punched in the, in the face or something. Uh, this one, I don't know, wistful, angry, surprised. Uh, look at yourself, enraged. Look at yourself in a mirror, see what you see, and try to draw what you see. Or what you could do is you could take a selfie, open up that photo in Animate, and trace it. And see and realize, oh, when I do a big old smile, my, my mouth right here has this has this line right here. When I get angry, I get lines over here. So take a photo of yourself, trace your own drawing, see if that helps you. So um, let me see a few others over here. Pose model sheet. This is all about poses. So the turnaround is the required one, but these other ones are optional. Uh, can you make different poses? Standing, pointing, running, etc. So just a variety of characters. So again, like that. I can put these examples into the network folder if you want to look at them and get inspiration. Here's a color model sheet. It's your character. What are the colors that make up the character? So just like little swatches of color, uh, as complex as you want. Now, th those are not named. That's fine. You can just put the little dots of color. These are named. There's the blue for the hair. Here's the green for the pupil. Here's the green for the boot trim. You could do it like that. Uh, in a sense, the class will be very open-ended in that you have a lot of space for creativity, but still stay within the general parameters. If I ask you for three model sheets and you turn in one amazing one, you'll probably get a C in it, or worse, because I asked for three. Uh, if you spent all your time on one of them and turned in one thing, that's not what I asked for. And I have to grade kind of harshly, because in the real world, if you get hired uh, in an animation studio, in a game design studio, they're going to ask you to do something. And if you don't do that, you might get fired. Here, the worst, you get a bad grade. But in the real world, it's a lot more high stakes. So I will be grading kind of hard. Uh, make sure you follow the requirements of the assignments. Is this making sense so far? Any questions? We'll get some hands-on stuff in a moment uh, with Animate. But, um, I, okay, what's this one? This one, what do I call this one? This is our description model sheet. Okay, this one's a very complex one. But it's the character that's also doing a turnaround pose. Uh, but the description part of it is actual, you know, text that's that's here. Uh, try to simplify the body. The torso is like one big square. So this is another kind of model sheet you could do. You wouldn't get credit for two things if you turn this one in. This one would either be the turnaround or the description. You wouldn't get two for one. It is going to be three separate files. Okay, here's another one. They also put in expressions. It would only count as one. Uh, here's another simpler one. There's the character talking about the colors of the character, um, etc. So description down here, a little paragraph. That would work as well. A little paragraph about the character. This is, I believe, in Portuguese. I can't read that. Does anyone know Portuguese and can translate for us? No? Okay, well, it's probably talking about the character and how funny or fun he is. Uh, another one right there. Okay, here's one about age and, and height and and all of that. It also has some of the color swatches, but it would count as one description. Very complex description on that one. So, you know, I'll put these examples in the network folder in a moment. Uh, one more. Comparison. You're going to be required for one character, but if you want to make your movie or game with multiple characters and such, um, you could create a comparison model sheet in that, okay, my main character is this guy right here, the Prime Minister, and then I've got over here uh, Jorge, and over here the le leader of the opposition. Uh, so you could have them, uh, you know, comparing the different characters in your projects. Like that one right there. Right there in order. 
There's another one. So those are examples there. Um, I'm going to I'm going to put these in the network folder in case you want to also look at them. Remember in the Open Labs folder, in the My Documents folder, in the 126 folder, I'm going to put those in there. Uh, one more time, these are editable by everyone, so please be careful. Don't accidentally miss, uh, you know, delete a file here or edit a file and such. I'm also going to show examples from the last semester. So, these that I showed you, I got them from all over the internet, like DeviantArt and such. But these I will show you from uh, previous students. And I show you this as a goal for you to do way better, uh, to crush what they did and you do better things than this. So, let's look at some previous examples here. Uh, so this one right here, this is the turnaround model sheet. It's got the character and in different poses. Uh, profile right, straight ahead, back view, profile left. Uh, you can do, you know, at the minimum, three uh, angles of the character is fine. You know, if you turn that in, that'd be fine. If you want to do like, you know, those two sides, that's fine too. But, you know, that's kind of cheating because it's the same character just flipped. Well, I guess the hair got changed a little bit right there. So that's one. Now, this person only turned in one really nice model sheet. So that was not an A. Let's see these other ones. Okay, here, here's another one that also was not an A. This is the one that I'm saying here that, um, okay, it's a totally simple character. It's a circle. But the important part of it is the expressions and stuff. Okay, full frontal view looks like that. Uh, sideways view, back view with a little specular highlight and such. Shadow. Let's see what else over here. Okay, this one had a few more examples. Um, so this one also, uh, okay, looks very good, but it, this one didn't get a very good grade because they didn't follow one of the requirements of the assignment, which is the dimensions of your project. Uh, these dimensions are wrong. Uh, the, the instructions in Canvas tell you the dimensions, and I'll tell them to you too. But this is the correct dimensions. It's nice and big. It fills the screen. That is correct. Uh, this person over here drew some nice characters, but in the wrong size. So when this prints out, they will look terrible. Um, this one over here. So like pixelated edges and all of that. Uh, people are going to turn it in, I'm sure, and say, why does it look so so crummy? Well, you didn't design your uh, character, you didn't start your file in the right dimensions. And we'll cover that in a little bit. A couple over here, a couple of brothers that were in the class. Okay, Fonzie color model sheet. Again, only one got turned in, and it, and it wasn't the required one. So um, make sure you follow the requirements. So color model here's another one so the colors of the character in a background scene I'm sorry about that background scene did not improve the grade I wasn't looking at that I was looking at the other details that I asked for um, okay so there's a color model sheet over here uh, and then a, uh, a turnaround model this is the one that is required so Good. and then here's one of color. You can use the same drawing you made before and then colorize it. That does count. Two different files, two different ideas, two different parts of the grade. Okay, so this is the one you've got to really gun for. This is the one you've got to get to to reach to the top. This is one of like the A-plus students. So they've got they've got uh, their character there and then expressions and then uh, comparison so the other ones were B's and C's and that one was like an A plus let's see over here so this one drawing wise it's an A plus assignment wise it's like a C plus 
because only one thing was turned in. But it's a very good turnaround model sheet. Okay, so here's one that is kind of cool in terms of very simple characters. I showed you the A plus one, but I'm not going to be grading on how much I like your character or how professional it is or anything like that. That's very subjective. I can't really grade you on how good you are. I can grade you on technical details and like if your code works and if you follow the instructions. But something like this, this would also be a good grade as the other one because it's um, a very simple character but different versions of the character, different characters and all of that. Now they were, they were also deducted points because it's the wrong dimensions and they used a transparent graphic and those things hurt the grade. But they've got a description, they've got interesting different kinds of characters, this would still be something that I would say is good. You don't have to be photorealistic. You don't have to be drawing Miyazaki level stuff. You have a huge range of creativity. Whatever you like to do, how you like to create, you're going to be free to do that. Just follow the general guidelines. OK, circles and lines. Perfect. That's a character. Look at those expressions. Look at the little, I don't know, the little AI dot or whatever they called it. Uh, here's the kawaii pose right there, I guess. And then over here, okay, expressions, there's a big old laser blast, and okay, cool. So that, was, that, one, that one's an A+, plus as well. There's an extra one there. That one's, oops, that one is also an A+, plus because I was looking for turnaround model sheet, expression model sheet, pose model sheet. Quality of the drawings, I'm not uh, grading on that. Let's see this one again. Okay. Once again, pretty funny character. The movie was really funny. Uh, not a great grade. Wrong size. It's transparent, and they only turned in one. Again, this class is very short, so make sure you are taking advantage of all of the time we have here. Okay, this one is good in terms of uh, model or uh, turnaround and all of that, but they exported it as transparent. So then, the only thing that was actually colored in was the back wings, I guess. And everything else is transparent, which could cause problems when you animate it and when you want to get a good grade, of course. Uh, the assignment says don't use transparency. And another one here. So um, color and expressions. Nope, I only count it as one. So two things were turned in. It's like a B. And lastly, here's another A plus one. Whoops. So it's a description model sheet mixed in with like color model sheet, expressions, turnaround, poses. There we go. So all three that I asked for, A+. Plus. Questions on any of these that I've shown so far? For the first part of the of the uh, of day one of being in person I want to sort of just drop you in without a really big lecture we'll do the big lecture on Wednesday I just wanted to show you here's your first goal model sheets three of them uh, we're gonna start the lab time a little bit early 215 instead of 230 uh, we'll have the lab time until 4 uh, and then uh, the class will end. When we come back on Wednesday, we're going to do a longer lecture where we talk about more advanced techniques in Adobe Animate. I want to see perhaps what you're working on at this point, how you can handle the software and such, and then we'll get into some advanced stuff like making cool highlights, uh, drawing uh, more professionally, um, and giving the character more life on, uh, on Wednesday. Questions on anything we've talked about so far? All right, so you'll have some time to work.